Sometimes you gotta close the door to open a window. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really want to, go ahead and click on that bell. And to all my returning viewers, thank you so much for the support. Now, today I want to talk a little bit about video games. So, as we all know, video games cause a lot of violence and so many mass shootings. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> but people tend to forget that video games are a part of a large community and that they are actually considered a sport in not only the United States but also in Asian countries. And yes, a sport. And I'm That's not a sport. It's not a sport. It's not a real sport. Not sport. sport. But, 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 zero it, it, can it truly be a spectator sport? It's a game. A game. A game. Game. Is it though? Now, I'm not an angry gamer. This was around 2017, so at the time, it was kind of on the nerdy side. People thought it was kind of weird, and not a lot of people were interested in it. But it's 2019, and a lot has changed. People are a little bit more interested in the esports industry, not only because they like the games that are being played, but maybe because a lot of money is coming out of it. The viewership, if it's from online or live, tends to range from the thousands to the millions, which is a very big amount that could turn into ad revenue. Not only does it turn into ad revenue, but this is where all the price pools are coming from, and this is why players tend to play for like millions of dollars. Now, people could argue, oh, I could just start playing video games and make so much money instead of going through a teaching career and making less of a salary. But you really got to think of all the lives and all the ad revenue that comes out of all the streams. You know, there's like 30,000 people that watch certain streams, but no one's really streaming teachers teach. So no one's really watching. Now, going into the streaming side, I feel like streaming has been a part of gaming for quite a while, even back when gaming wasn't very socially accepted it was more on the low-key side more of a nerdy side you know if you were really good at a game i'm pretty sure you weren't known to be cool you're more known to be a little bit nerdy and i feel like people ran to streaming platforms such as twitch to not only watch their favorite streamers but to kind of express themselves through their streams and not really get judged by anyone like I said earlier, it is 2019, so a lot has changed, and I feel like I kind of experienced the transition from like the nerdy side of the gaming to the more cool and socially accepted side of gaming. And I feel like it got carried, not fully, but Fortnite did kind of play a small part in kind of bringing the gaming community out in the open to social media. Throughout the years in high school, I played a lot of video games and I knew a lot of friends that also played video games, but no one really took it to the extent of, you know, like posting their clips up on like Instagram or prom promoting their video game clips or anything in that way because no one was really down for it. And I really saw the difference in, you know, seeing a lot of video games on social media when the big Fortnite streams started coming up. You know, big streamers started streaming Fortnite and then Fortnite ended up being a super big thing because of its battle royale. And I feel like Ninja in a way took it to like the next level by having Drake on his stream. And it's not like the biggest factor, but I feel like that did affect the way people started seeing, I guess, video games on social media especially Fortnite, for example. Not only was Drake on the stream, but like a lot of other famous people were on the stream, but Drake was one of the biggest streams that Ninja had. I know a lot of like famous people, such as like football players or other rappers, ended up on Ninja's stream. But because of that, I feel like people started looking at like Fortnite or gaming kind of on the cooler side. Artists started being open about their gaming on Fortnite, such as S.I. Brocky, Chance the Rapper, football player Juju, and people look up to these people. Other people, such as Post Malone and Lil Yachty, ended up making their own little streams, which kind of caught people's attention even more towards the streaming side of gaming. I started seeing that more of my friends started watching more streams, they started playing Fortnite more competitively. A lot of more people ended up posting their Fortnite clips. People that you wouldn't expect are watching all these streamers now. And I kind of forgot about this, but people that you wouldn't expect were actually posting their victory royales on their social media. You know, you had Snapchat, Instagram full of just 
victory royales and it was crazy how this was a thing or at least in my community this was a thing for quite a while and it comes to show how kind of gaming and being kind of a little bit more open to gaming was a little bit more socially accepted by others you know you weren't called a nerd you weren't really getting bagged over it it was kind of cool for you to post your victory royales and show how good you were at the game and it really shows how the gaming community is just growing and growing and it's no longer being slept on people are actually paying attention to it which is really good and i really enjoy that however that's just my opinion but before I go and end the video, I just want to say this wall has been growing a lot and a lot and a big thank you to the people that have been supporting me, not only on Twitch, but on my YouTube channel. I've been streaming a lot more and thank you so much for everyone that stops by and as well, thank you so much to everyone that actually watches my videos, especially to the people that stay the whole video. If you happen to like this video or find it funny, go ahead and drop a like. And if you have any feedback, go ahead and comment down below. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next.